Hey there everybody, Bradley's Fan 9 here. I got my iTools Bluetooth finally arriving. Pretty happy on that, so as I told you before, I will make a video on what it looks like when you open it, how to set it up, where you can buy it from if you haven't done it yet, what's its availability look like, and you know, all the little extra stuff that you may need to know or want to know what's up with this thing. So let's get to all the good stuff and test this baby out. Okay, so before I get into that, I'll quickly show you where you could buy this from and what its likeliness of it being available in stock because it's actually not in stock most of the time. So to start off, any good old question you may have or want to look something up, you could go to Google, old Google. just type in iTools. Now the first one that'll come up right here, thinkskysoft.com, that's the people who make it, so you're going to want to go there. And then this is the main page for it, so we're going to, as you can see here, they got some computer options and some other things, but we're looking into the Bluetooth. So you go to iTools, underneath store. And then as you can see here, we're all about Pokemon Go over here. So Pokemon Go users, Pokemon page. That's the link you want to click. So as you can see here, this middle option here is the mobile version. So that's what I'm rocking on this guy here. So you see it plugs into the bottom of your device and then you'll see what, we, what I mean later. And then the other new option is the Bluetooth over here. If you see my other iTools video or you see when it was released, it hasn't been available since that video has been released. So unfortunately iTools mobile hasn't been in stock for a while. You could hit view details, I'll show you here, order now, and it'll say this. If it's in stock, it'll give you the option to buy it right there. But recently for a while, this Bluetooth was in stock. Now I'll let my YouTube and my Patreon members know right away when this stuff comes in stock. So be sure to either follow my weekly videos on spoofing and pogo updates or be a patron and you'll know for sure when this stuff comes back in stock. But if you hit the order now in Bluetooth, it'll say this as well. So unfortunately it was out for a few weeks, but it's temporarily unavailable. So they make a batch, sell them, and then they got to make more. So unfortunately we're still in the wait period, but I know lots of people who follow me were able to purchase some, so I'll show you what's up when you do get one. So let's get to all that fun stuff. Welcome in an appearance, Mr. Beach. All right, so first off, when you buy the Bluetooth or the mobile or whatever you buy from these guys, they'll send you an email from PayPro Global. Obviously, I scratched out my information because Duh. But you'll get this email first. Now in the same day I received this email confirming that my order was complete. So that's two. You first make the purchase, it sends you one right away, and then it'll say the order is complete. Now keep in mind when they come in stock, it's a hot ticket item. Lots of people are buying it and you may not be the first person that they have to deal with. So if there's thousands of orders and you haven't gotten your email right away, don't worry, they will get to you. These are trustworthy company in my opinion. I've bought two things from them now. I know lots of other people who have and I've even seen they said in Mexico a few people wasn't able to send the electronic device across the border or whatever they said so they refunded those people so these are trustworthy people just keep in mind you may be a little backlogged on the order list if you take longer to order it than other people did further on from that once you get it completed I actually received this the same day as ordering it but I was right on top of it like pretty much as soon as it was available I was buying it so I was one of the first I'd say a hundred people to buy one of them. I was able to get the order completed and shipped right away and it was close to a weekend so if anyone took closer to Friday there's a chance Friday was their Saturday and you already missed your chance for them to hit you before the weekend so just keep in mind I just got mine today and you can see there the date July 22nd is when I got the ship message and it is now August 5th is when it arrived so take with that as you will it took me about two weeks to get my mobile in you should get this message. They even spelled shipped wrong, but hey, it's from Asia somewhere, I believe, so broken English, that's okay. Hope everybody isn't too worried. If they did order it and it hasn't come yet, it will come, so just keep in mind, this email should tell you what's up. So now that I finally got it shipped and it finally got here, I'm in Canada, BC, BC, BC I should mention. So if you're in Canada, you can get it too. I know most things are tailored to just the US, but hey, these guys ship to Canada too. And obviously Mexico apparently, but not everywhere. So either way, good luck to getting it. And if you did get it and want to see what it's like when it comes, so this is what it's going to look like. 
So it'll be some little package here. They, I believe they say it's a value of $10, so that's why you don't really get charged with anything extra over the border. So then on this package, it'll have a bunch of detailed information about battery usage and stuff coming into, just so they know it's not nuclear bombs and stuff, you know? Information on what it is. So then you'll open this up, and it'll come in one of these SF little folder things. See, it's not very big. Take it out. And we got a little fancy iTools Bluetooth case. Now if you watched my other one, you'd see the mobile came in this case. It's just plain black, so kind of cool and nice and fancy they got this Bluetooth kind of... I mean, it's 30 bucks more, I should mention. It was about $100 Canadian to get this. But this is what it looks like when you get it. Nice. So as you can see, it's not very big, and it's kind of sturdy. I dropped it on my table. It's made of steel. It should be able to handle that, you know. And it comes with a charger cord. It's got three different lights on the top there that'll light up. But with most electronics, when you get it for the first time, you're going to want to charge it fully before you use it. I don't think it's completely necessary, but I'm going to do it, so I'll be back right after it's fully charged. So I'll just show you here. I got it plugged into my power bar here. These things are pretty handy. And as you see, it's got the red charging symbol. I should mention when you get this thing, it doesn't come with an instructions manual or anything. So that's why this video is helpful. And I'm going to show you all the stuff that comes when you first get this thing. So let's charge this baby up. All right. So while you're waiting for that to charge, you can get on to this step here. You're going to want to go to the app store, the actual app store, and you're going to want to download the app test flight as you can see right there I've already got it downloaded but that's the first thing you got to download and now when you start off it'll actually have nothing here you can see that it says iTools go but you'll have nothing until you open that email that you should have gotten a couple days I think maybe the day of somewhere around there before it gets to you you should get an email about the app itself okay so as you can see there I blurred out all the other stuff because you don't need to see about my email but it came from test flight that's where it comes from so the email will come from test flight as you can see it's not in my focus it actually gets hidden in the other it may be somewhere in a different folder as I told you the other emails from think skysoft just went to my regular but it sent this one to a different email both of mine have came from Lena Shen and then it'll have whatever number and it says they invite you to an app basically so that's your invitation to use test flight to be able to download their iTools Pogo app so we're gonna go ahead and go to that email. So this is what the email is gonna look like. It basically just gives you the access to the app because when you bought it, you had to put your Apple ID into the purchase area. So this is how it's tied to you. And then they just send you the email and then you hit view and test flight. Didn't take too long. Then you can open it. I'm gonna always allow, I'm gonna allow all of that. All right, so as you can see, we haven't connected the thing yet since it was charging, but you this is where it's at so now you could actually still look at the app before you get the device itself as you can see but it just shows your actual location you can't go anywhere but you can still see its data and stuff as you can see they do have a snipe list I haven't actually tried it on my phone before as I mentioned I do have it on the iPad over here on the the mobile version but this is the Bluetooth it looks very similar like it's a pretty cool system so now let's get the Bluetooth connected so we could actually move around but one thing I should mention there was or at least still is they mentioned on their website that iOS 13 you're limited to only 15 kilometers from your actual location but if you have iOS 12 or lower you're able to teleport anywhere you want but I've seen I know I've heard there's a bypass I'm gonna look into that because obviously this is iOS 13 but I've also heard that the new update and different iOS 13s have actually had it work without any sort of bypass and it just works. So maybe they did say they were looking into it. So maybe they're on their way to iOS 13 working anyways. So I'll keep you updated with that, at least in my weekly videos, because I always talk about the iTools and things like that. So either way, let's get this Bluetooth thing set up. So to start off, this thing does have a switch on it. So we're just going to flick that on and as you can see, it's got a little location symbol here and then a little Bluetooth symbol here. So right now I assume it's searching for a Bluetooth. So we're going to go to the phone here. And then when you're at this section, you're going to want to go to the Bluetooth down there. 
And then now you can see down here, underneath, you may not have devices that have connected before, but you could kind of peep on whatever I've used before. Either way, we got the iTools Bluetooth, so tap on that guy. So now it says connected, and as you can see, that button is now solid. There's a charge button, a location button, I assume that'll blink when you catch things, and the Bluetooth connection. So that's what it looks like, pretty small, nice and slim. So now let's give her a go. So at this point, anything we do in iTools Bluetooth, we should be able to go around now. So I assume you could also charge this while you're using it. As you can see, it just kind of stays on while you're using it. You just kind of slide in your pocket and it's just connected to your phone, which I do find is better than having to connect this thing with the lightning cord, you know? Because those things can get broken if you use them, you know what I mean. They break, they suck. So be delicate with the mobile, but I'm thinking the Bluetooth is a better way to go. So let's see, we got Pokemon downloaded. So you're gonna sign in to whatever account you feel like. I will mention the date of birth thing. If you don't give yourself at least 18 years, it won't let you use your Google sign in. All right, so once you pick your account, load it all up. All right, so now that we got Pokemon Go open, I've realized there's this little new symbol over here, right on the far right, the second one from the top on the bundle on the bottom there. That little Bluetooth symbol, if you hit that, you want to tap the Bluetooth one to get it connected. I didn't have that, so then you'll see that little green Bluetooth symbol over there. So now we should be able to teleport around, so I know this is at least within 15k. So we're going to move there, and let's see if we change location to over there. Yeah, we got success, so there you go, I moved over to that gym, that's at least within 15k. So that's pretty cool, so now that we're on iOS 13, let's try and go further than 15k and see if we can actually do it without any sort of bypass. So I'm not, don't, if you want to know about cooldown, don't lock yourself in, don't spin stuff and catch and throw balls if you don't want to stay in that location. You could go watch my cooldown softband tutorial, I'll make a new one, fresher one, eventually here, but that one will still tell you the basics. You don't want to lock yourself in somewhere you don't want to stay, and then get confused and not know where you're actually stuck at. So. We're going to actually not touch anything there. We're going to go back to the iTools. And since we got Hundo cords here, let's just kind of pop over to one of those. So, not sure. This one's in Scranton. So, unfortunately, it looks like you are stuck to 15K from your actual location. So, that's a bit of a bummer. But there is a bypass, I've heard, so I'll be looking into that. You could look into it right away if you want. But I will be making a video because obviously I want this device to go out there too. But if you have a um, device on iOS 12 or later, but iOS 12 is ideal, then you should be able to teleport anywhere you want using this app. And like I said, they mentioned that they're trying to make it work on iOS 13 as well. Keep in touch with that. I hope this helped you get your iTools Bluetooth set up, figured out how to get it going, and kind of know what the ins and outs are. Keep in mind, it's not tied to one device. So I could just disconnect this Bluetooth, connect it to my iPad and use it over here instead. And then just use this whenever I want to use it on my phone. So they're pretty versatile. You could use it to different devices. Just remember the thing that you buy is tied to your Apple ID. So anything that you're signed into your Apple ID and iTunes will be where you can download it from. So I hope this video helped you understand iTools Bluetooth, what it's all about, the safety of it, and how to get it set up. Thanks for watching this video. I hope to see everyone in my weekly videos and other ones in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see everybody later.